as I began constructing this, I started with a reasonably short 12 inch piece of 4 inch PVC. And then I add the end cap, which throws another inch at the bottom of that, and a collar at the top, which added another couple of inches on top of that, and then a little fitting at the top for my blowout, and an end cap on top of that. Long story short, my 12 inches is now 17 and a half inches. And I spent a good hour this afternoon trying to find a place to put this in my uh, company vehicle, which is a Toyota Tacoma pickup truck, which has all kinds of cavernous areas behind the front grill and inside the engine compartment none of them big enough to support this monster so you can see I've gone to Home Depot I've purchased another end cap and I also picked up some purple primer I'm just going to take this pipe I know it's set down inside the end cap about two inches so I'll use this to make my mark and I'm just going to cut this off and I'll end up having to shorten the battery terminals underneath um, to suspend the cell a little bit higher to compensate for the shortened tank. My uh, hacksaw blade is starting to wander a little bit into the edge of the PVC end cap, so I'll just break it off. Alright, we're going to apply the primer to the pipe with the dauber. It's very thin fluid. It's not, not at all like um, like the glue. So you just apply it and then use it. Pretty. That's pretty too. Being a little bit more liberal this time with the glue just to make sure that I get a good bond. I'm going to spin it as I assemble it. <clears throat> Alright, with what little I was able to gain, maybe a little bit less than an inch and a half, I've taken the plate brick, set it down inside the tube. It is now resting on the bottom and of course my uh, clean out cap no longer mates with the thread but I know I want this to be le even with the top edge of the collar. So I'm going to measure now and I have mm, exactly an inch and a quarter so I need to remove at least an inch and a quarter from the metal straps that suspend the plate brick. A total of an inch and a quarter. Um, I really don't want to remove it from this because I want, I want uh, the bars to be insulated all the way out of solution. The only the only ele uh, electrical surface area I want in solution is the plates themselves. I've also taken and cut off the top of the blowout cap, which gets me another three quarters of an inch or so. So if I were to measure from here to the top of the clean out cap now, or the blowout cap, just under two inches, and my cell is 13. So it'll be about 15 inches tall. Okay, you can see I've gone through the process of redrilling my holes one inch lower. And I've decided that with the nut that I had on top of this upper strap, I'm able to, I'll be able to get the additional half inch that I need underneath the bottom of the clean-out cap. So that should give me the height adjustment that I need on the cell to keep it off the floor of the shortened tube and this is now where the heat shrink tubing ends up coming out of the plate brick. That is two and a half inches worth of heat shrink tubing. So I'm going to want to keep my fluid level someplace in here so that the plates are always fully submersed but not high enough so that the, the um, 
electrodes up top are shorting out in solution covering those. So I'll have a, a high and a low limit on the outside of the uh, cavity, outside of the tube, with the, with the sighting tube, probably an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half worth of, of uh, range in the fluid level. Well, there it is. That's the completed cell. Uh, I have the clean-out cap assembled to the collar. And if I shake it, you can still hear the, the uh, cell wobbling around a little bit down in there. I know it's not striking the edges, though. It is striking the, the uh, surface of the cup that's formed by the end cap. And probably the reason for that is the end cap that I bought today at Home Depot. Notice how rounded that is? Compare that to the one that came off. Same part number, different Home Depot. And this one's a little bit a little bit more rounded. So I might I might have saved, oh, I don't know, another quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch in the overall height had the uh, new end cap been exactly like the old one didn't notice that and I wasn't sure to didn't, didn't know to look through the bin to see if there were any that were a little bit more shallow than this but it works out okay the new cell is I'll measure it for you has an overall height of 15 and a quarter inches so from 18 and a half to 15 and a quarter all right so let me just open it up for you again and we can see if I hold the clean out cap level with the top you can see along the sight tube where my min and max fluid level is going to be I'm almost tempted to take and move this around a little bit and drill another hole further up so that I can actually see the fluid level, but I'll just make the bottom edge of this fitting my max level and someplace down here my min level. So this will be the range of fluid that I'll allow in the cell from high to low before I refill it again to get it back up to that level there. So that's it. Uh, I'm going to put some, uh, I say I want to put some electrolyte in here, but now that I've re-glued this end cap, I have to wait another day for it to dry. I don't want to poison the cell again. So hopefully tomorrow, uh, rather than sticking it in the Toyota, I will keep it here in the lab and put together some production numbers from the bench supply and see what this baby can do.